Welcome back, my friends. My name is Eric. This is Mellow7 Gaming. We're playing Monster Train. This is the second time I've tried to record a, well, I guess technically the third time I've tried to record a video today. I was using my older laptop, Dell XPS 13. I've had zero problems with it. I've recorded many videos on it, but uh, lately OBS and everything else have come up with new updates that say they've improved performance, which means they no longer run at all on my older computer. So um, I recorded a couple videos. It should have been a hint when finishing, it took longer to finalize the video and close it out than it did to actually record the video. Um, it did finalize them, but they look like garbage. So we're gonna try again. We're using the newer laptop. The desktop's out in the garage and doesn't have a green screen, so it's a little bit harder for games like this. Um, so we're gonna give this one a try. Uh, the fans are really loud on this one. It's one of those um, Asus ROG Zephyruses, and it's really good, but it's really loud. So we'll see how it goes with videos here. All right, um, I had wanted to explore um, the topic of the game we're gonna play today. Um, some combinations here. I was watching Quill, uh, Quill 18 play today, and he uploaded the melting, these guys, uh, Melting Remnant. And uh, I was watching him, and even though I'd already unlocked them, you can see we're, we're level five now, and I'd been playing them some, really hadn't thought through some of the ramifications of their abilities. Um, and so I decided what I wanted to do was I wanted to do a run through like this, Melting Remnant and Hellhorned. Um, if you don't know, the Melting Remnant have a mechanic where they're they're burning brightly at both ends, so to speak, and they actually pop up and they're there for one to three rounds and then they die. And you can make them last longer or you have mechanics call based on extinguish um, and the number of monsters killed to do various things. So um, in a sense, it helps you to have your monsters die and continue to be rotated over and over and over again. So I decided what I wanted to do with the Hellhorn deck was run them with an imp deck, right? Because you only want your imps to come in, do their thing, and then die. Um, this lets me even bring them back over and over, and then there's some imps that let you uh, recast all the abilities they've already done. Anyway, all sorts of stuff. And it was a blast. We had a great time. It's too bad you didn't see the video. Um, we made it right to the last end, and we died in the last one. The final uh, boss had an ability where she was putting three sap on anybody that newly entered, where our whole point is we come in, we die, and we come back in again. So we always had three sap, and then she was going down and putting more on every other turn. Of course, the cat's here now that we've started. Um, and then on top of that, one of the bad guys, the normal mobs there, um, had uh, had an ability where he got more armor every time a, uh, something died, anything died. Um, and then we had an artifact that doubled that extinguish. Anytime an extinguish effect happened, it happened twice. So he was getting double the armor and he was feeding off of all of our units dying. Um, so it was a tough fight. Um, we got the boss down pretty close to dead, but not quite there, uh, but it was a blast. So this time I'd like to do something a little different. I would like to try Umbra and we're gonna try essentially similar things, but using the morsels as our characters that die over and over again. Uh, and we'll see how that goes. So I'm gonna hit the part here and then I'm going to go see whatever the cat wants to feed the cat and then we'll be right back. All right, the cat's been fed once again. Uh, what do we have? Seraph the Chase. OK, um, has the power to cleanse all units of effects which don't benefit. And um, we don't really need that because we're not going to have buffs per se. We'll actually be, well, we'll be enhancing creatures rather than buffing creatures, I think is going to be OK. So I think this is going to be fine. Unlike the last fight where we went, oh, well, we're going to have trouble with that one. All right, so I decided that these bonuses, these two are random. I thought they were based on the other faction you took, um, but they clearly are not. So we can go here and he would have burnout three, um, which means he would live for th three turns and then he'd die. Now we could bring him back necessarily and we could also extend that. Um, but I would like to try this, the harvest five. So every time something dies on the floor, um, he's gonna get a bonus. So I think we're gonna try that. So it's not quite Gorge, um, although it is similar to that. Um, I don't know if I want Morsel units to get damage shield. I guess it doesn't hurt because we're gonna eat them, so they're gonna survive. Yeah, we'll go for that. We'll see how that, that works with what we're doing. Um, non-boss units get plus four. So he wouldn't normally attack, but he would get some. She's gonna go up to th six. I think that's okay, because we want to die anyway, in a weird way. This plays really differently than what you'd think it would. I mean, we do have the damage shields, so it's not that big a deal. 
So we could, in fact, just kind of do something like this. Something like this. We'll do a couple of these. Yeah, we'll do that. So we didn't kill anything, but we... Did we not get... Uh, did Extinguish not fire for him, or did we start on 20? I don't remember. Um... I'm gonna try this. So maybe the extinguish doesn't help us. Do something like that. We're not gonna get this guy, but we could cast this guy up here just to cast him. I hate losing those guys. So I don't think this is gonna work the way I'd hoped it was gonna work. Let's uh, throw a couple of these down here and see what happens. So he's at 35 health. And we'll see what happens. All right, so that guy's not going to do any damage. Well, take it back. Did he get damage? No. Yeah, so he, he, he's not going to do anything. All right. So, yeah, we did. We were at 35. Now we're at 45. So it worked. Okay, good. So now our option is, he's going to get one attack. So we can put this in here. One will take the damage shield, right? And we'll throw him up here. And we may as well do a couple of these, because why not? There we go. And our bonus health helped. I don't think it was necessary per se, but it did help. So this guy's really good. Um, the last playthrough, we could bring creatures back automatically that had died. We could still do some of that um, with consumables. So we could do that. This will essentially add burnout three to um, anyone that has three. So right now he would die in one. If we cast that on him, he would he would have four rounds before dying. We don't really mind if he dies as long as we can bring him back. Um, this one is going to be an enhance um, and give him burnout too. I think we'll start with the monster itself and we'll kind of work our way from there. Um, that's going to deal three. If we get a slay, we get a couple rare. Um, that's a two cost. Um, it's going to give us an Ember Drain of two. Lifesteal is pretty good, though. Let's stick with this for the moment. I think let's let's get some better kind of gorge type stuff going. Um, he also has a harvest ability. Let's take one of these initially and see how that goes. The other guy had Gorge permanently, which is nice. Um, assuming you can get enough of it out. Um, let's go... Let's go Remnant on this one. I don't know if there's any spells we want to update. Um, that would keep that one there all the time. We're not going to be able to kill everything all the time, though, so we wouldn't necessarily gonna count on it. But let's do this. If nothing else, oh, I was going to make it free, but we didn't have enough money. That's OK. We'll do it next time. Um, friendly burnout unit. Nah, I don't really want that. I don't. I don't want her given keeping them around longer. I want them to die. He's a little bit better. So what we could do is... Now, see, he's only going to get plus one, so he's not going to attack very quick. But we could get him, like, an extra six health every time. You know what? I think I'm going to skip. I think I'm going to skip. I'm not sure that does what I want to. And the cat's back already, by the way. All right. Um, so they would have spikes. Um, It would help us die faster. I think we're okay. I don't think we... I mean, we have no money, so money would be nice. But I think we'll be okay. I think we're just going to roll through this. Um, now, in the past, what I did was I put me up at a higher level. This time, I think 
We're gonna go here. We're gonna go here. Toss one of these out. We get two of them because that's what he does. They're both gonna die, but that will get him additional health. So we're gonna get 20, right? 5, 10, 15, 20 from all of that. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and put one, that's it. I guess we only had one. Perfect. All right, so now what we can do is we can do that. Which one are we gonna go for? What does this guy do? Oh, he gives him haste. Oh wait, let's kill him. Um, and again, we're gonna put him in here because they've got that damage thing. Um, do the same thing here. Those guys hasted their way up, so let's go ahead and toss these up here. Now, I don't know if, um... I don't know if these guys are gonna keep their buffs when they die. Like, when they go in and they come back out, will they stay buffed? We'll have to kind of keep an eye and see how things pop back up again. Got our money that time. Nice. Okay, we have him, but it's not gonna do us any good. Um, I think we wait, though, see if next turn, because we would like to be able to put some of those down. Um, they're going to expire, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that there. We're going to put that there, and we'll just hold this guy for the moment. Because by the time they get there, he would have burned out anyway. This guy's really good, um, because he gets multi-strike. So if we go here, then we go here. Oh, he's already dead, but let's just do it this way. He would last a little bit longer. So we're already up to 79 there for a second. If we can find some buffs to put on him to increase his damage, we're kind of there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um. Store 10 health and apply burnout too. So he doesn't have burnout now. So we could use this, but it would give him burnout. So I don't think I want that. It might take another one of these guys though. If we could just part, sight, uh, roll through those guys over and over again, that would be fine. Um, that, I don't think we need any of that. None of that helps go where I want to go. The cat's got him bored. She's wandered off on. <laughs> Find somebody who will pay attention to her. Um, we could double something. We get another mob. I think I'm going to go here. I'd like to get another... Um, artifact. Um, deal five down. There we go. Perfect. We don't really care. Our things are, aren't expensive. Our, our, most of our monsters aren't. So um, but that means as they die, they'll do damage to them as well. So I like that. Um, and we get the brands here. And of course, you can get everything except what you have. Um, Let's look at a Woken one. Let's see what we get. Restore units to full health. That would be good. Draw, enhance all cards this way with minus two. Okay. Oh. So what we could do is we would heal him. We would take that big health, flip it over, and then have his health go up. I don't know if this is good or not. We're gonna find out, but you can see where I'm going, right? Because our guy's health gets really big but our damage doesn't. If we could kind of let it go a couple rounds and then flip that, that might be pretty nasty. Uh, they have damage shield on them. Okay, that's a little bit annoying. But again, we don't mind if things die. We just have to see how it goes. We can put it up there. We're gonna come here. Um, I'll just go there. We could have had that kill something and do damage to him that way, but... See, I mean, even already we could flip, because, you know, he's gone from... You know, he had 10. It's gone up to 12 because of what he ate. But we could flip that already, and he would... He'd be really good. Now, they're going to do 6 damage. 
Um, but that doesn't matter. So I would say the first time we get this, we're probably already. Now he's going to get a little bit better. That's fine. That's going to give us lifesteal on top of that. Um, I think we just throw all these guys up here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, see, now 14, 40 and 16. So now would be a good time to do that. Um, let's do that. What are the two rare ones? Da damage shield or life steal? Um, I'm going to go in front because I'll get us two with their own life shield. He's going to do 10 to that guy and kill him. I'm going to put him there and put him there. I think that'll work. Yeah, you see how much damage he took that turn? Uh, are we ever going to... Is it the la literally the last card? It's the last card. Of course it is. Um... So we can get three attacks, which would kill one of these. Right now, we're not going to take any damage. Because we've got two damage shields. Okay. I'm going to go there. He's going to throw some dudes up here. Give him one of these guys. We'll hit end. The problem is this doesn't give us time to build up our health, especially if this is the final round. Okay, it's not the final round. Good. So what we're going to do is we're going to flip this here. Now we're going to do that. Got us a little bit more. And we'll see how that works. I think we need to double that card. If we get a chance to get a, a copy of something, I think we need to copy that one. Um, I don't think it matters. Not going to kill anything, but we may as well do it. Uh, he's got... That's fine. He's going to do three damage to the, the pyre. Well, maybe. No, he's not, because we're going to kill. Yeah, we just let that get up and then flip it. And we're golden. Oh, wait. So, kill a morsel unit, trigger eaten, and gorge. Ability as if it had been eaten 2x times. So we consume it. And we'd at least get two versions of it. We could get more. Deal damage... The number of friendly unit deaths in this battle. Now, this one I think is going to be really, really powerful because we're going to have a lot of things die. So we're going to, you know, maybe use that at the end. So he's going to get Gorge and Lifesteal. We could put him up top. Alternatively, I haven't used him before, but we could put him up at the top as well. I haven't used him before, so let's go for it. Um, you know, he's going to get Gorge. Um, if we do this... Does that leave us enough room? No, I was thinking we maybe we could get him on the first floor with the other dude, but we can't. Okay, so we could go here now and get rid of some stuff, or we can come here and get some money. I think we go this way. I think I'm going to get rid of a couple train stewards. Um, we check to see what this is. We just got one of those. I don't think we need two. Um, those guys are really good, too, with the damage shield. Um, especially if we got some way of m doubling it up, you know. Um, but I think we're going to skip. Keep the deck as small. I mean, we're at 20 right now. So right now we're getting five. That would go up to 10. This would let us bring units back. Now, I think we just play this one all the way up and see what we get. Especially with that... That oh, oh, we can check our spells. 
Um. Sure. Um, car will not do. So we could put it up the first time, hang on to it till we were ready for it, because we wouldn't discard it. And then as soon as we're ready for it, we'd be guaranteed to have it. Alternatively, we could do that with this one. I'm going to do that. We may not be ready for it right away, but we want to do it. Um, don't have anything else we can really do. Well, I mean, we could cast on those, but there's no need. All right, fourth fight. Let's see how this one goes. Um, they get armor 15. Nah, I don't think we need. We're fine. We have money. There we go. He's going to die, but we still get health for it. We just don't get to eat him. And... Why are we getting 10? Oh! Because when he dies, he'll do 5 damage across the board. Yes. Or not? Do they not count as an enemy unit? Oh, they didn't burn out. That's right. That's why. I'm still not... Okay, so I'm not sure why we got 10 then. Oh, because our new bonus. Yes. Never mind. Oh, wait. And we could actually get him on there and still do a couple. And he would... Because we don't care if he eats, per se. That would work pretty well. We could put him in front. We go here, here, here. That would leave us one space. We put it down. It doesn't matter. It would automatically give us two. There we go. Don't want to let the loot money go, money, monkey go away. Now he's probably not going to be attacked because we didn't give him anything last time and he's still not going to be able to. So that's a little annoying. Peter gets three. Sure. Oh, he's going to take five. That's fine. This. That's fine. How about that? We don't quite get all of them, but he'll only do four before he dies. All right. He's finally gorged. He's now got one... One fuel, so to speak. All right, we swap. They're already all going to die. Oh, I should have done that. Damn it. I screwed up. That's okay. Um... Okay, so he's going to get up, do five damage. Everybody else should more or less die. There we go. And now, now, we're, now we got the system going. Ah. Darn it. That would do 130 damage right now. Um, and it's just about to get bigger. All right, so that one's going to give three damage. That one's going to give... Yes, let's go there. Make sure he just has some energy. We'll toss that up there. And we'll end the turn. And I'm going to put him there. Let's see if any of these are ones we want. They're all the same. And that's it. We have lethal. Lethal. 
81, 104. I saw it 116 there for a second. Yeah, I think this works okay. I think this works okay. Um, We gain one for each friendly death this battle. That's just a consume. It's just flat energy, which is nice. Because we had, what, 13 deaths last time? Um... 25 damage, two days to an already damaged unit. No, I think we just go with this. And again, that's another possibility to duplicate. Um, we can feed early. Yeah, I like that. But if we can get something that'll take advantage of consumes at this point, we're probably okay too. Um, but we'll be back for the next uh, in the next video for the final half of this uh, this run. All right, we'll see you next time. Cheers.